Officer finds puppy left in plastic bag next to dumpster. Sees wounds and knows he was bait dog. Whimpering in pain, a four months old puppy shivered in terror as a man approached. Left to die in a plastic bag near a dumpster. The American Stephen Shear Terrier had no way to escape the approaching footsteps. He closed his eyes, fearful of the hands reaching down towards him. Confused by the muffled voices and flashing lights, the puppy suddenly found himself lifted out of the bag and placed in a back seat of a car. He heard a soothing voice tell him it was going to be okay. Cautiously, a peculiar feeling crept into his heart. A feeling he had never known in his young life, safety. Mr. Riley, as the pup was later named, was discovered by a Chicago police officer in Eaglewood. The officer immediately recognized the telltale wounds that told the story of Mr. Riley's traumatic history. American Welfare League, update Mr. Riley, also known as Bat Baby. Mr. Riley came to AWL seriously injured and left for death next to the garbage can. Thanks to the support of many donators, Mr. Riley is slowly recovering. It's been a little over a month and he is looking adorably good these days. He is still in need of medical care but his strive to survive is inspirational to us. According to his foster mom, he loves to snuggle. He is almost fully house trained and knows how to sit and come commands. Mr. Riley enjoys playing outside with the other dogs he stays with. With continued support, we can help him and many more in need. The officer rushed the dying pup to the Animal Welfare League for emergency care. Mr. Riley was ushered into the compassionate arms of AWL president and veterinarian, Linda Estrada, who explained Mr. Riley's horrific story. This little guy was raised as bait, Estrada said. According to Estrada, Mr. Riley was found in a plastic bag in Eaglewood next to a trash can. So they let him for the garbage. CBS reporter Charlie DeMars said right, Estrada confirmed she believes the marks on the puppy are a result of his forced involvement in dog fighting as a bait dog. Mr. Riley has spent his young life used as a bait, a helpless cog in the vicious system of dog fighting. Older five dogs were forced to hone their aggression and fighting skills by practicing on the young innocent pup. Mr. Riley's body was covered with puncture wounds, clinging to life in desperation. He had lost many, many dog fights, but nobody could take away what mattered most to this pup, his fighting spirit and will to live. This puppy is fighting for his life, suffering from puncture wounds all over his face and body. The AWL explained on its Facebook page, On a slow road to recovery, our bait baby is receiving pain management and intensive care. Mr. Riley, along with another dog fight puppy victim named Lilo, will be placed for adoption once they are sufficiently healed. The AWL has seen far too many dogs in this situation. Thought typically according to the Estrada, bay dogs are older. I believe that when people can do something to a harmless puppy or kitten, what can they do to human? Estrada mused. Don't make a profit on them, find another way to make a living, but not this, she added. Those interested in helping Mr. Riley and other dogs like him can make a donation to the Animal Welfare League. The AWL is in need of community support as they continue to nurse critically wounded animals back to health, giving hope to the innocent pups who keep on fighting.